In the last tutorial, we've learned the whole picture of the car and then completed the basic assembly of the car. Now let's continue. First, assemble the battery holder to the car. Take out the battery holder, the ribbon, two M3 by 10 countersunk screws and the two M3 nuts. You may need to use the cross socket wrench and the screwdriver and a scissor. Then fold the ribbon, cut it into two. Since the battery will be fixed tightly in the battery holder, you may need a ribbon to help you remove the batteries. Since the end of the ribbon is too soft to be inserted into the hole, you may need to bend the edge a bit to make it harder. So thread the ribbon through the hole from the bottom of the car. Then back to the bottom, through the plate to the surface. Pull the ribbon tight at the bottom of the plate. Then cross the other ribbon from the opposite orientation. Then take the battery holder. Pay attention to press the shorter end of the ribbon under the battery holder. Then insert the screws into the nuts. So now the battery holder is assembled to the plate. And you may use the ribbon to remove the batteries successfully. As our car's name suggests, it has a video function. So next, we'll assemble the mount, which is to hold the camera. So to assemble this part, we'll use these acrylic plates, M2 nuts, M2 by 10 screws, M3 nuts, M3 by 12 screws, and two servos. Take the plates, then the rubber arm from the servo package. Then take four M1.2 by 5 screws. Then place the rocket arm to the plate. Align the shaft hole of the rocket arm to the hole of the plate. Then take one M1.2 by 5 self-tapping screw. Since the screw is quite thin, you may turn the screw gently. And the four screws should be inserted into the second holes to the shaft hole. Then assemble another rocker arm to the plate. Also pay attention not to over tighten the screw in case of breaking. So now the place to connect the servos are completed. Next assemble the servo to the holding plate. You can see a long slot on the plate. Place it on your left, and the shaft of the servo should face front. Insert the servo. Then fasten them with two M2 by 10 screws and M2 nuts. For this servo, we name it pan servo. Then assemble the other servo to the plate. There are two notches on the plate. Place the notches on your right and the servo shaft should face forward. Insert the servo. Fasten them with the screws and nuts. For this servo, we call it tilt servo. You may need to use the cross socket wrench to help you to screw them tight. Then connect the two servos. 
insert the bulge of the plate into the slot of the other. The two circles should be on the same side of the plates. The two plates should be perpendicular to each other. Then fasten them with two M3 by 12 screws and M3 nuts. Place the nuts into the holes and insert the screws. Since the hole is quite narrow, you may need to put the screws inside carefully. And during the assembly, you may need to pay attention not to pin the wires under the servo. Next, connect the two servos to the rocket arms on the mount plates. Then assemble the plate to hold the camera and that to connect the servos. Pay attention to the direction. Here is a bulge and you place it towards yourself and the upper longer end of the rocker arm towards yourself. Then insert the lower plate into the upper one. Take out two M3 by 12 screws and M3 nuts. You may hold the plate with the rocker arm on side and gently place the nuts into the holes. Prop the nuts with your fingers and insert the screws. Tighten them with the screwdriver. Second check the directions. It should be like this. Then assemble these three parts. First take the servos. Place the wires towards yourself. And the servos should be in parallel with the slots on the bottom plate. Then insert the servo shaft to the rocker arm. Recheck the direction. The wires towards yourself and this the front of the pen and tilt mount. Then turn the lower pen servo left and right and stop at its 180 degrees, which is the rightmost angle. This is also to adjust the servo just like we did for the upper tilt servo in the last tutorial. Now remove the pen servo from the bottom plate. Spin the servo to your right side 90 degrees, perpendicular to the front orientation. It's the largest angle the camera can turn right. Turn the pen servo left and right to check again whether the camera on side can utilize the full angle of the servo. So the pen servo is done assembled. Now connect the tube servo with the camera holder plates. Take the plates assembled just now. Stick the servo shaft into the rocker arm. Rotate the rocker arm and find its 180 degrees similarly. Stop there. Then remove the rocker arm. Turn the plates right in the front in parallel with the bottom plate. Turn the plates backward to yourself and you can see it can rotate 0 to 180 degrees in this course. So this designs the camera can film a view of 180 degrees forward to backward. Now take out two M2 by 4 screws to fasten the servo shafts and rocker arms. Okay, the pan and tilt mount is done for filming. Now check the direction. You have this plate with the slots towards the front. Turn the servos. The pan one to left and right when the tilt one forward and backward. Both can rotate from 0 to about 180 degrees. 
The next thing is to install the mount to the car. Place the bottom plate on the car front. Align the two holes on the car plate with the slots on the mount plate. Also make sure the servo wires are at the back side. Then take out two M3 by 12 screws and M3 nuts. Insert the screw to the back end of the slot and the hole on the car plate. Fasten the nuts. After that, slightly move the mount. If it's too loose, tighten the nuts a bit. Before moving on, we need to check whether all the servos are adjusted successfully. Turn the front wheels left and right to check the steering linkage part. Rotate those in the mount. Here is to set the camera. Turn the pan servo left and right. This pouch to clamp the camera. We can also see a larger concave part than that below. Then turn the tilt servo forward and backward. So the whole car is finished assembly. Next, we'll move on the circuits. See you 